And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is live coverage of this J1 League game. It's Bahia, and they take on Fortaleza. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? The initial 11 today for the hosts. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, the 4-4-2 system relies on good combinations all over the pitch. The front two, the central midfield pairing, the fullback and winger, and of course the centre-backs. If you can get these combinations right, you'll have a good team. And the match begins. Using his strength to shoot. Opportunity! Well, he wasn't going to waste this chance. 1v1 against the keeper, and he slots it away with great confidence. That's a good finish. So underway again here, one nil to score. Jikia. Niall Umyarov. Well, can they open up the defence here? And the cross is very much on. Umyarov. This could square the game, but the keeper has his say. And how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, that was a big chance, and really, he should have taken that. But let's give credit to the goalkeeper. It's a decent save. Let's see about the delivery. Clears it away. Yeah. 
And a throw-in it's going to be. Chance to play it in. And he takes it on. And he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. And deciding to go short with this one. And pull back. Oh, moving it nicely. Must be. And a goal. Calls for celebrations again. Two in front. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So 2-0 now. Umyarov. Moving the ball effectively. I just couldn't play that decisive ball. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. And the corner has been given. <laughs> Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Could pick out a teammate. It might be. It could be up for grabs. Well, nothing comes of it. Alexander Sobolev. Well, they've given him too much space. Well, this would help them get back into the game. That really would have changed the equation had it gone in, Stuart. Well, he needed to score there. That may just have given them some hope. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Decent position. Teammate in support. Can he get one back? And the cross into the middle. Just over the crossbar. Well, there you can see it. The hosts haven't been able to control possession, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. Options in the middle. Using his strength to shield the ball. Well, I'm sure he heard the footsteps of his opponent. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. 
He's playing with real authority and attack, Stuart. Yeah, he's certainly carved out plenty of chances. He's tested the keeper on numerous occasions, and he got his reward with that goal. Brilliant stuff from him. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. And with that, the first half draws to a close. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Yes, he'll be pleased with his first half display. His movement was good, as was his passing, and of course he took his goal well. Just needs to continue that form into the second half. And the match begins. Using his strength to shield the ball. And there it is! The opening goal, the ideal way to start. But the keeper has his say. And how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Must be! And a goal! Cause for celebrations again! Two in front! And the cross into the middle. Just over the crossbar. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Can they get in behind them? He has time to play it over. It might still be problematic. And I think the threat has been averted. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. And again, negligence when in possession. Excellent defending. Nile Umyarov. Nikolai Raskasov. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Great pressure to win the ball back. Wonderful chance. Well, just marginally off target. And time for the change now. Well, as you can see, the hosts have had most of the ball and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that. At times, they make passing look easy. Dangerous ball. It's 
so Bolev. Umyarov. Ignatov. And this would reduce the deficit. Spectacular save. Top class goalkeeping. And over it comes. Good looking ball. Strong play here. It is a decent looking attack here. Well, that's gone out and it is going to be a goal kick Losing possession here. Niall Umyarov. Opportunity for them to get back into the game. And there is the goal! Well, that changes the equation. And they have the momentum now. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really good bit of play. Watch how he turns his marker and then has the composure to finish. That's a top-class goal. So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. It's a neat move. Options in the centre. Well, they get the ball once more. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Offside by a fraction. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. On the cusp of the final whistle and they're making home advantage count but only just Stuart your thoughts well it's been a really good contest you have to say but overall I think they've just about deserved to be in the lead here can they now just see this game through for what will be an excellent win five minutes remaining and one thing is certain no one is leaving because it's still close and the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack And reading it absolutely superbly. Umyarov. Good visualization and execution. And the attack carried promise, but petered out. Time really is of the essence. What can they do from this situation?
We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. He's in behind. Big chance it is. And a goal to delight the fans. Just what they were hoping for. Well, just look at how poor the defending is here. But I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Absolutely, Derek. It was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. Well, really no complaints whatsoever about his performance in this game, Stuart. Well, he should be pleased with himself today because he performed really well, he scored a good goal and they won the game. An excellent day all round. Cross into the middle. Just over the crossbar. Wonderful chance. Well, just marginally off target. And this would reduce the deficit. Spectacular save, top-class goalkeeping. And there is the goal! Well, that changes the equation, and they have the momentum. He's in behind. Big chance it is. Just what they were hoping for.